ಸರ್ವಕಲ್ಯಾಣಮೂರ್ತಿಂ ಪರಶುಕಮಲಹಸ್ತ ಶೋಭಿತ ಮೋದಕೇನ ಅರುಳಕುಸುಮಾಲಾ ವ್ಯಾಳಲಂಬೋದರ ತಂ ಮನುರಲಯ ನಿವಾಸ ಶ್ರೀಗಣೇಶ ನಮಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣವ್ರತ ಕೃಷ್ಣಮನುಸ್ಮರಂತ ರಾತ್ರೌ ಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪುನರುತ್ತಿ ತೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದೇಹ ಪ್ರವೇಶಂತಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಆಜ್ಯಂ ಯಥಾ ಮಂತ್ರಹುತ ಹುತಾಶೆ ರಾಮಾಯ ರಾಮಭದ್ರಾಯ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರಾಯ ವೇದಸೆ ರಘುನಾಥಾಯ ನಾಥಾಯ ಸೀತಾಯ ಪತೇ ನಮಃ ಬುದ್ಧಿರ್ಬಲಂ ಯಶೋಧೈರ್ಯಂ ನಿರ್ಭಯತ್ವಮರೋಗತಾ ಅಜಾಗ್ರಂ ವಾಕ್ಪಡುತ್ವಂ ಚಲೋಮಸ್ಮರಣ ಭವೇ ಚಿತ್ರೈಪದೈಶ್ಚ ಗಂಭೀರೈ ವಾಕ್ಯವಾನೈರಖಂಡಿತೈ ಗುರುಭಾವ ವ್ಯಂಜಯಂತಿ ಭಾತಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಜಯತೀರ್ಥವಾ ಪ್ರಣಮತ್ತಾಮೇನು ಭಜತ್ ಸುರತರೂಪಮ ಶ್ರೀ ಭಾವಬೋಧ ಕೃತ್ಪಾದ ಚಿಂತಾಮಣಿಮುಪಾಸ್ಮಹೆ ಪೂಜ್ಯಾಯ ರಾಘವೇಂದ್ರಾಯ ಸತ್ಯಧರ್ಮರತಾಯ ಚ ಭಜತಾಂ ಕಲ್ಪವೃಕ್ಷಾಯ ನಮತಾಂ ಕಾಮಧೇನವೇ ಅನ್ನಪೂರ್ಣೆ ಸದಾಪೂರ್ಣೆ ಶಂಕರ ಪ್ರಾಣವಲ್ಲಭೆ ಜ್ಞಾನ ವೈರಾಗ್ಯ ಸಿದ್ಧ್ಯರ್ಥ ದೀಕ್ಷಾಂ ದೇಹಿ ಚ ಪಾರ್ವತಿ ಹಯಗ್ರೀವ ಹಯಗ್ರೀವ ಹಯಗ್ರೀವೇತಿ ಯೋ ವದೇತ್ ತಸ್ಯ ನಿಸ್ಸರತೆ ವಾಣಿ ಜನ್ನು ಕನ್ಯಾ ಪ್ರವಾಹವತ್ ರಾಕಾಚಂದ್ರ ಸಮಾನ ಕಾಂತಿ ವದನ ನಾಕಾಧಿರಾಜಸ್ತುತ ಮೂಕಾಮಿ ಕೂರ್ವತಿ ಸುರಧ್ವನಿ ನೀಕಾಶ ವಾಕ್ವೈಭವ ಶ್ರೀಕಾಂಚೀ ನಗರಿ ವಿಹಾರ ರಸಿಕಾ ಶೋಕಾಪಹಂತ್ರಿ ತಾಂ ಏಕಾ ಪುಣ್ಯ ಪರಂಪರಾ ಪಶುಪತೆ ಆಕಾರಿಣೀ ರಾಜತೆ ಸತ್ಯಂ ವಿಧಾತು ನಿಜ ಪ್ರತ್ಯ ಭಾಷಿತ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತಂಚ ಭೂತೇಶು ಅಖಿಲೇಶು ಚಾತ್ಮನ ಅದೃಶ್ಯತ ಅತ್ಯದ್ಭುತ ರೂಪ ಉದ್ವಹನ್ ತಂಭೇ ಸಭಾಂ ನ ಮೃಗಂ ನ ಮಾನುಷಂ ನರಸಿಂಹ ನ ಮೃಗಂ ನ ಮಾನುಷಂ ವಿದ್ವಾನ್ ಕಹ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಕಾಲರ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಪಬಲ್ ವಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಅ ಸ್ಕಾಲರ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಕೇಪಬಲ್ ಸಮರ್ಥ how much you have to learn of the behavioral patterns from the ramayana who said the ramayana is old i call it eternal i call it universal and eternal priya darshana the public figure cannot afford to express his private emotions in public do you know that there are some of us who are so transparent the boss is in a bad mood so the secretary says don't ask for your increment today he has fought with his wife he has come with a bad mood you can't you can't allow you can't allow your private life to affect your public appearance i used to tell my students we can't choose our faces but we can choose our expressions can't we i had a bad boss when i joined the service the moment we entered the college she used to start shouting one day i told her please smile and then bark from that day she started smiling i said you're going to bark anyhow you're barking every morning you have to bark at us why can't you do it after a smile that will make a lot of difference from that day she stopped barking why because the face makes a lot of difference i hope you know scientifically it takes 64 muscles to make a frown and four muscles to make a smile which would you choose 64 muscles to make a frown and four muscles to make a smile which will you choose we still choose 64 muscles <laughs> because we don't know how to smile it can make you so lovely it can make you so happy although the heroine is told by the hero oh you look so nice when you are frowning and angry i don't believe so i think she looks pretty when she's smiling i hope you understand kaschai ka priya darshana my lord always wore a smile kambara ramayana says when the lord was given the kingdom he smiled when kaikey took away the kingdom he smiled sweeter give him a big hand that is my lord that is my lord very happy when somebody takes it away from him he is very happy kachai ka priya darshana atmavan ko jit krodho one who has controlled himself and one who has controlled his anger i think man is the only one who says the wrong thing and does the wrong thing and says sorry 
I didn't mean it, why the hell did you say it? All of us say sorry after getting angry. One minute later, belated wisdom dawns on us. Please remember, man is respected for the control of his temper. Jitak Krodho, he has to control his temper. Duty man, radiance. Children ask me, Amma, how to have a charismatic personality? Not makeup, good qualities. Good qualities make you beautiful. All our saints, do you think they went to beauty parlors? Do you think they went for the best hair cutting? No. No. They had the Lord in their hearts and the glow in their face. That was their charismatic personality. That was their charismatic personality. We want people to have duty. Duty means the inner radiance that is there glowing in the face of these great men. That is how the Lord was. Anasuya kaha. Anasuya kaha means one who does not have asuya. If you are students of Sanskrit, I will define asuya. Guneshu dosha vishkarnam asuya. Finding fault amidst guna is called asuya. And the Lord never had asuya. Many of us go to lovely functions and come back with a small complaint. You know, It's a lovely wedding, everything went off well. I didn't get tambulam, so it's a bad function. No? What does it matter if you didn't get, it's not an international calamity no? that you did not get tambulam, so what? Oh, they, did, they didn't call me and give me. This is called asuya, guneshu dosha vishkaranam asuya. My Lord never found fault with anybody. Anasuya kaha. Kasya vibhyati devascha jata roshasya samyuge. If you are controlling your temper, if you never lose your temper, your employees will never listen to you. They'll say he's so good, which means good for nothing. He's so good, he's so kind, he can come at 10 o'clock, we can come at 11. No. Lose your temper on principle and not as passion. Temper can be lost as principle, as passion. When you lose it as passion, there is contortion and distortion of the face, and you'll know. From medical parameters, you'll know something is wrong with your BP also. The whole body crumbles under anger. The whole body is devastated by anger. Anger is the worst enemy of mankind. I will talk about it when I talk about Hanumanji's speech on anger. Please remember that you have to lose your temper as principle. When your child is not studying well, you say, I have nothing to do with you. Only the Lord Narayana who came down as Rama has all these qualities and more. Sri Rama came as the excellent human being. This quest of excellence ends when you reach the feet of the Lord and you find what a man he was, what a man he is, what a noble character. So stately is his demeanor, so attractive is his personality, so charming are his words, so forgiving is his heart, so noble is his behavior, and so frightening is his temper. In every way you look at Sri Rama, and you kneel down and say, this is Purushottama, this is Maryada Purushottama, this is the master of the world who came into the world to teach us how to behave and particularly how not to misbehave. The entire Ramayana is given to by Naraji to Valmiki in the next few shlokas, hundred shlokas, which is called the Sankshepa Ramayana. And one day, Maharishi Valmiki has gone for a river bath, he's coming back, he sees two birds, billing and cooing, two Kaunsha birds. And he's very happy to see nature happy. Suddenly there is an arrow from a ruthless hunter. The arrow strikes at the male bird. The male bird dies and the female bird cries. This is what happens in the world. Suddenly the husband passes away and the wife is sad. My grandmother used to say, both birds cannot die together unless they are like Jayadeva and Padmavati. And when the poor female bird cried, the heart of Valmiki went out in pity and he cursed, he cursed the ruthless hunter and said, you ruthless hunter, you will not come to good because you have killed the male bird and made the female bird cry. It is the curse that became worse. Manishada Pratishtantum Agama Shashwati Sama Yatkarauncha Mitunat Ekam Avadhikama Mohitam In Sanskrit, you have Shoka. This Shoka became Shloka. I hope you understand. 
shoka in the heart of Valmiki became shloka. The curse became a verse. The students of Valmiki ji learned the shloka. Manishada pratishtantum agamashashvati sama yat krauncha mitunat ekam avadhikama mohitam. He reached his hermitage sad. And when he sat on the Vyasa Pita, all his students, stereophonic effect, all of them are chanting, Manishada Pratishtantum Agamashashvati Tama. When he thought of the shloka, he said, how, how did I compose it? How did it come to me? All the great compositions of the world, by the great men, the great saints, have come out of sorrow. As the famous romantic poet said, our sweetest songs are those that tell of saddest thought. Even if it's a film song that you love, which are the film songs you love? Only the sad ones. The sad ones remain. The sad ones remain. Out of the curse came the words, and all the students are chanting the shloka. Whenever you have a doubt, you say, only Brahma knows. We say that, and that, that's where the matter ends. But when a great saint like Valmiki says there, only Brahma knows, Brahmaji appears before him. Chaturmukha Brahma, who is the creator of the world, he appears before him. Valmiki ji bows down and says, Swami, what is it? You have written a shloka. You have written a verse. That is how the first poem in the world was written. Inspired, spontaneous overflow of powerful emotions, Wordsworth. <laughs> Spontaneous overflow of powerful emotion. That's how the words came. Manisha, the Pratishtantva Madama Shashwati Tama, Yat Krauncha Mituna Tekam, Abadhik Kama Mohitam. Shloka Yevatvaya Baddu, Natrakarya Vicharana. This is, this is what Brahmaji tells Valmiki. You have written a shloka. And Machandat Evate Brahman. Pravrityam Saraswati. You have written a shloka by my by my grace. These words came to you. What do I do with this? What do I do with the shloka? You write an epic on Rama. I, I don't know anything about Rama. Don't worry. You will have a special PowerPoint demonstration, video show. The entire history of Rama will be shown to you. Master, master. But, but who, will, who will read this? As long as the mountains stand, so long as the rivers flow, you'll be having the Ramayana, don't worry. It will go on. And whatever you say, will not be questioned by researchers. It will be the truth and nothing but the truth. You will have every relevant detail and every relevant detail will be admired by your readers for years together. 24,000 verses. This is the Ramayana. This is the Mula Ramayana. 24,000 verses. 24 aksharas of the guy. 3 and 24,000 verses. The Ramayana was ready. He said, now who? Who's going to publicize it? All of us know, corporate depend on marketing. Without marketing, you cannot have publicity for the product that you have made. When he's worried, when he's worry-struck, he's sitting there, two hands touch his feet, and who are they? Lava and Kusha. The two children of Rama. They are the children of Rama, they are the children of Sita, they are the disciples of Valmiki, they are Kshatriya children, they are brainy children, they have the best memory and they have sonorous voices. What more qualification do you want for the Ramayana? Tell me. That is how these two children come into being. And they, are, they have learned the entire Ramayana by heart. And they are going to sing in the streets of Ayodhya. Ayodhya never had a traffic jam. If you have time, patience, please read about the town planning in Ayodhya. By God's grace, I had the opportunity of doing the Ramayana for more than 300 days, chapter by chapter. And I scanned the Ramayana, and I found how many details are there in the Ramayana, how much of town planning, how much of civilization was there at that described at that time of the year, so many thousands of years ago, before the world was even civilized. Here was high culture, high culture. 
the entire Ayodhya now has got a traffic jam, my Lord Sri Rama pretends to be a human being and he wants, he wants to find out what is happening. Rama Krishna Hare, Mukunda Murari, Rama Krishna Hare, Mukunda Murari, Panduranga, 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 Rama Krishna Hare. Mukunda Murari, Rama Krishna Hari, Mukunda Murari, Panduranga, Panduranga, Panduranga Hari, Panduranga, Panduranga, Panduranga Hari, Rama Krishna Hari, Rama Krishna Hari. Rama Krishna Hari. By the grace of the Lord, when the children are singing in the middle of the roads, everybody is watching. And at the first time, I told you that the traffic jam in Ayodhya, the Lord pretends to be a human being and says, what, What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? And he reaches that spot to find the children are singing his glory. Ratyasu. राज मार्गेशु ददर्श भरताग्रजा स्वेश पचानी यततो ब्रातरौ च कुशीलौ पूजयामास पूजारहौ राम शत्रु बरहणः फ्रॉम द टाइम ऑफ रामा दोस हु सिंग द ग्लोरी ऑफ रामा हैव बीन रिस्पेक्टेड दैट इज हाउ वी पीपल आर रिस्पेक्टेड बाय द ऑडियंस फ्रॉम द टाइम ऑफ रामा श्री रामा ब्रिंग्स द चिल्ड्रन होम एंड मेक्स देम सिट ऑन गोल्डन थ्रोन्स and worships them, says the Ramayana, Pujayama Sapujarko. They are worship worthy and they are worshipped by the Lord Himself because they want to chant the name of Sri Rama. I hope you know that Sri Krishna and Sri Rama belong to two different personality traits. Both are the same, one and the same Narayana. Sri Rama was self-effacing, Sri Krishna was self-asserting. Shri Rama is simple, Shri Krishna is aggressive. Shri Rama gives, Shri Krishna takes. Shri Rama obeys, Shri Krishna commands. That's why if you are a Rama Bhakta, you'll sit in the last row. If you are a Krishna Bhakta, you'll sit in the front row. Decide what you are. If you are a Rama Bhakta, you'll say three pairs of clothes are enough. If you are a Krishna Bhakta, you'll say only 250 saris. <laughs> and not matching jewelry for it. That is the Krishna Bhakta. If you are a Rama Bhakta, you will say dal chawal enough, enough to have sambar and rice. If you are a Krishna Bhakta, I want sweets, I want sweets. How can you have food without sweets? Two different personality traits, Sri Rama and Sri Krishna. Sri Rama is always, always controlling his emotion. Sri Krishna is an open book to read. Sri Rama will never allow anybody to delve into his heart. His sorrow is his sorrow. His loneliness is his loneliness. His solitude has no companions. Such a Lord for the first time breaks down and says, Lakshmana, listen to my history. Bharata, listen to my history. Shatrugna, listen to my history. For the first time I find the Lord is overwhelmingly sentimental. Recently I defined sentiment as the silken tassel that keeps human relationship going. How do you like it? Sentiment is the silken tassel that keeps the human relationship going. If you snap it, human relationship is gone. You need that silken tassel to bind husband with wife, child with parent, brother with brother, sister with sister, boss with employee, everywhere. Everywhere you need that sentiment. For the first time my Lord has sentiment. He says, look, look, listen, listen. Uvacha Lakshmanam Rama, Shatrugnam Bharatam Tata, Shuyatam Shuyatam, Idam Akhyanam, Anayor Deva Varchasom. Anayor Deva Varchasom. They are divine children. They have divine splendor. Listen to my katha. Listen to my katha. Heman Bhai will sing a snatch from a Marathi song, which is called Sangeet Ramayan, where the children come into the Darbar of Sri Rama, 
Why is Ramayana popular? Because the first official listener of the Ramayana was Sri Rama himself. That is why it is popular. His children sang his glory. Sri Ram Prabhu Aikati. Sri Sri Ram Prabhu Aikati. That was Sri Rama listening to his own history. And when he's listening, to make the long story short, there's a description of Ayodhya. Ayodhya doesn't mean it's a land where nobody fights. Ayodhya means a land which no one can besiege, full of warriors, the unassailable, the unbesiegeable. That was Ayodhya. The best ministers, I wish our ministers could read the Ramayana. But sometime, sometime, I should talk to the ministers of India about what the Ramayana means by a minister's definition. A definition of a minister is given in the Ramayana as one who is above board, one who talks to everybody who comes to him, one who has enough and more so does not have to be corrupted, one who is pleasant in his manners, one who has got the best of characters. How sad. When a word is given and you say his past record is bad, how sad you feel, how sad you feel. What is happening to India? What is happening? We want the best to be chosen by the best. The Ramayana is telling you about these impeccable characters called the minister. They had a king called Dasharatha who could manage ten chariots at one time. In Hyderabad traffic to manage one car is difficult. Imagine ten chariots on the battlefield, he could regulate, you know, he could monitor. That was his power, that was his power. He was an ally of the gods. The gods called him to help them when they were fighting the demons. Such a Dasharatha had everything but no children. According to our Hindu philosophy, the wedding takes place as a part of a spiritual ritual. The wedding is not showbazi, it's not vanity fair. I don't know how many crores you spend on the wedding, but with what deep sincerity you chant the mantras. I always tell the children, it is the Panditji who gets married again and again because only he knows the mantras. The children are busy talking. God knows what they are talking. Can't they talk after the wedding? They have their whole lifetime from the honeymoon onwards. Why can't they listen to what the mantras mean? Very sad. Very sad that today we don't give importance to the ritual of that marriage. And in the ritual of the marriage it is told to you that you take your wife's hand and tell her you are with me for dharma, artha, kama, moksha. I want you to see the catholicity of outlook of, the, of Hinduism. Hinduism says that a man gets his wife for dharma, for artha, for kama and moksha. 
In all these four Purusharthas, she is his companion. She has to walk with him on the path of dharma. She has to make him earn what he has to earn the righteous way. And she is the one who satisfies his desires. According to our scripture, we are born with three debts. D-E-B-T-S. Three debts. Thank you.